morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Welcome back to Bruce Channel. Today, this video is just a quick tutorial for if you want to create outline from a STL file or OBJ file, let's or maybe it's from the 3D scan or your sculpture models uh, from, from Nomad or whatever software to do, you do. Blenders also can. But if you want to create outline to laser cut or make the base for the mold, whatever thing uh, related, those kind of thing, you need to outline. You, and you don't have to recreate it from sketch. You don't need to sketch it out from the or delete all the face in Blender. You don't have to do that. Here got a very really easy method. Brand, uh, Fusion 360 got exactly way to do it, but uh, but the first thing I already done this so to save some time on the tutorial. Number one, you insert the mesh. De definitely, you have this mesh like that. The, the, uh, after that, you can you will go to the mesh. I will do. It. I, I delete the history here. Do it again. Okay, I mean delete one more. Okay, after you get the mesh, you go to mesh and then you find this one. Uh, create mesh mesh sectioned sketch after you click that you select the plan find the location you want and then adjust it let's say to somewhere around here is it no it should be fun front a little bit okay let's say example like this you got it then you can after that you can hide the mode you can outline like this but this outline you cannot do anything right because you can click it so what you need to do to go is go to the edit sketch. Then then you have this you go into sketch menu, create menu, and then go to fit curves and to mesh selection. And then you can have all the selection here. What you need to select is the close blind. Once you select the close blind, importantly you need to adjust the size. You don't want it 2.0. If you want it exactly follow, then you can put 0.01 then once you click the numbers and you click the spline like this it will automatically generate it and you hide this you will see the blue color line right if you if you don't want this you want a, a, a different size you can also add let's say uh, i put one millimeters the smoother it the bigger you want you may need a smoother spline like that so easier for you to uh, do any setting in the future you can see that will smooth out all the similar thing if you let's say you want to create more just need the outside shape behind you don't need the so so many curve you can basically just do this but in this case now i want to do like it's a cut for the background or or doing the mold yeah and then uh, i don't need that i can just hide uh hey sorry i just clicked the cancer right I think I, I clicked the cancel just now. So I shouldn't, but you can always, 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 always click back and then get the numbers you want. Let's say in 0 0.01 and then click this line. Once you click, you hide this, it will be here. Then click OK. Don't click cancel. OK, I'm, I'm stupid doing that. OK, after you, after you get this line, you can, you, you see, just now do not have the face. Now I have this face. I can select the face already, it's a close one. So you can do this like exclude, right? Then you got a solid face like that. If you want to print this face as a base, also can. Or you can put it, you can use this outline, just use it, go to right click, save as DXF, this file. Then you can get the AI file or open in AI, get this line. So the laser cutter people can use this file to cut out the shape you want and follow the exact size. Okay, this is the video today I want to talk about. Of course, uh, if you want to make it out uh, something extra here, if let's say I want to, I, I not just want to the outline, I want something different. No, not going to, if you, you see, if I click offset like from this line, it will be like crazy because uh, too many curve, it can't, the algorithm cannot detect or something. You will come out some error then also make your computer lagging. Most of the time Fusion 360 lag because it's not only because Fusion 360 not able to handle a lot of mesh. Also, if you, if you understand to avoid all these things, it won't be lag like this. But just also to want Fusion 360 is not designed to handle like high poly mesh. It's not like ZBrush or even Blender hand, handle a lot better if you're doing to the high level mesh and a lot of mesh count numbers uh, so now my computer that because i just click this i just stupidly click the 
offset when I put 0 0.01. You no, know, I, I think it's 0 0.001 just now. Uh, so they got too many numbers, it, 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 like crazy. But you will realize that my computer only using 15% and one GB memory is nothing much. It's not even using my computer power, it's just not responding. So if you can wait some time, like wait 20, 20, 30 seconds, you will come back. If you can't, I'm not sure, but it's randomly. If you don't want to wait, just close it. Uh, I think this this is a good of demo as well, so I'm not going to remove this part. But you got the idea. If you want that, you export that, you can get this kind of thing that you can, you can get the outline from any STL model or sketch model. Okay, so is it? That's it. Uh, today video and you here I hope this helped you if you got any better way please tell me in the in below or send me the link in below uh, see you next video if I facing any problem or any technical issue or you have any question to ask let me know I can make a tutorial for you purpose of doing video is save your time not to waste your time so off bye